guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you're here hanging out with us for another video today. My name's Cora, and we're just going to be doing an overview video, just kind of telling you guys what's been going on lately, where we're at with all our projects, uh, just kind of an update video, basically. Um, I have been going through a ton of stress and just responsibility lately. Um, May 9th was the day that my dad went in for his bariatric weight loss surgery. He got the bypass and what was supposed to be a two day uh, recovery time has turned into two months and he's still, you know, he still has a long way to go as far as his recovery. Um, this was not anything that we thought was going to happen. Um, he just has had a lot of complications from the surgery, and he's been hospitalized several times. So I've just been doing other things. I've been really busy helping him run his business. He has a painting company, and that's where I work. And I've been pretty much taking the reins on that with my uncle. And we have just been trying to keep that going. And plus, I've been at my parents' house a lot, helping them just do you know, day-to-day -day things. We could really use all of the prayers and good thoughts, good vibes, anything that you guys can send our way. We would really appreciate it. Um, he's really not one to ask for help or anything like that. Uh, he's a very amazing guy. He's very kind. He's sweet. And he's just always been there for his family. He's always taken great care of us. And now we're here for him. And he is, he is doing better than he was, so we're very blessed that he's even made it through this whole procedure because there was a couple times that uh, we really thought that we might lose him. So, it has just been, it's been really crazy around here, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and do this update video for you and just kind of show you where we're at right now with all of our stuff. And let's go ahead and get into the video. We use some CLR. To get the rust off of the roll cage. Look how much better it looks. That way Jimmy can finish welding it and getting it certified ready. But we're really excited. We're going to be able to take this to the track and see what it can do after we're finished with it. But... This is officially our drag hatch. All right, we've got the drag hatch in the backyard. And we've got the roll cage and primer. It's looking really nice. And we are planning on painting it. Getting attacked by mosquitoes out here. But Jimmy did a great job. We appreciate you so much, bro. We're not sure if we're gonna keep it. But we took it over to Jimmy's house and got the roll cage all welded correctly. And we're planning on getting it certified. But as you can see, everything is gutted out of this car. It's as light as possible. But we're going to get it put back together enough. Maybe sell it. What do you think, Bo? He said sell it. Huh? He said sell it. You think we should sell it? Somebody's going to want a drag hatch. guys are looking at the parachute kit we're gonna go ahead and put it on the drag hatch because whoever buys that car is gonna need a parachute mount since it's gonna be roll cage certified hopefully it'll go fast enough <laughs> yeah that'll look cool So 
So that's the plan for the dry catch. We're going to be working on it, trying to get it ready to sell. go ahead and get these Hondas pulled out of the carport. That way I can go ahead and start cleaning them up. That looks a lot better, doesn't it, Bo? hatch pulled up that way I can wash it and then we're gonna be going for a cruise tonight I'm really excited we're only gonna go cruise the hatch though unfortunately my front wheel bearing is messing up really bad and the whole wheel shakes and wobbles whenever I'm driving so we really don't feel like it would be safe for me to be taking it out but we're going to be getting that fixed pretty soon and she will be back out on the road in no time. So tonight we're going to be taking the hatch out to cruise. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up so that way I can get it washed. Show them what we're working on. Come here. That box needs to up. Uh. Yeah, we're collecting boxes. Grayson's birthday party is next weekend. And we do a fun thing where we make box forts and have Nerf gun fights and water balloons, all that fun stuff. So we're getting ready. We've been cleaning up the backyard and we need something to do with this tailgate. So we looked on Facebook Marketplace and found this bench for about 60 bucks. We're planning on staining the wood and that's gonna be what we sit on, obviously. And then with the tailgate, we're gonna give it a patinaed paint job. It's gonna look really cool. Let's go ahead and get started. gate bench and I love how it turned out it looks really awesome the patina look really love the stain but we're super happy with it and we're just gonna leave it out here on the deck for now but let me know what you guys think down in the comments. It's way better than just having an old tailgate sitting around. And we did this complete for about probably $200.
You guys ready to check in on the right hand drive? This is our Integra Type R. It's got a K24 and I really love how this build turned out. We are having one issue though. And it has something to do with the hybrid racing conversion harness that we put in here. Basically, whenever we have the O2 sensor plugged in or the relays hooked up, the voltage that's showing on the Honda data is just glitching and dropping and not reading the right kind of voltage. Jake ran to the parts store, that way he can get a different fuse and finish fixing it. So we should be good to go pretty soon. Might go for a cruise later. Overall, we're really happy with the Integra. We do just need to work on perfecting the tune a little bit. Neither of us have worked with K-Series before, so it's been a big learning experience. Alrighty y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up here. A bunch of cute kittens just came over to my car, so I'm gonna be petting them. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to give us a huge thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, guys. It would really mean a lot to us. And we will catch you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for sticking with us.